So the basics of speaker placement. This is probably the most commonly asked question we get at Adam Audio. Where do I put my speakers in the room? Introducing Atmos, that's a whole nother question to ask. Starting with the room. Every room is unique to its own and it is very dependent on the room where to place these. So firstly, let's start to understand what's the basic Atmos configuration. You've got your LCR, which is your left center right. You've got your LFE channel. You've also got your base management channels if necessary. You've got your left and right surrounds, rear surrounds in a left and right configuration. Then you've got your overs, your top, front, left and right, and your rear, left and right. A great tool to use is Dart, which is the Dolby Audio Room Design Tool. What's great about Dart is you can put the dimensions of your space or where your speakers are gonna lie within that room. It'll give you a guide to help you place the monitors appropriately within your room. It also will let you know if those monitors are gonna meet SPL spec in your mix position too, which is another very important attribute to Atmos. Once you get the specifications in Dart, some other little simple tools that are really good to have around are both a measuring tape and a level. With all these monitors, you wanna make sure that they're precisely in the right spot to make sure everything aligns right in your mix position. Sound reference ID, which is another great tool that we can use too to see what your room is doing. Um, it'll spit out some delay information, it'll spit out EQ information too. So that's another tool to see if, you're, if your mix position is kind of feeling all right and seeing what those graphs are saying as well in your mix position. But those are some of the basics to get you up and running as far as speaker placement goes.